The BJP led NDA has lost half of the seats in Maharashtra. The Mahavikas Aghadi and India Alliance won Maharashtra Lok Sabha elections. Ajit Pawar's NCP and Ekna Chinde Shiv Sena have won less seats than Uddhav Thakare and Sharad Pawar. These are just some of the major headlines from the Lok Sabha election results in Maharashtra. The state with the second highest seats after UP and the state with the most unstable politics in the past five years. Defying predictions of most exit polls which gave over 30 seats to the NDA, the BJP Shinde Ajit Pawar Alliance has secured about 20 out of the 48 seats in the state, while the India bloc has bagged about 26 to 27. This is a major dip in the NDA tally in the state which had won 41 of the 48 seats both in 2014 and 2019 elections. Now, what went wrong for the Devendra Fadnavis led NDA in Maharashtra? Breaking parties did not go down well. The sympathy factor has clearly led to both Sharad Pawar's NCP and Uddhav Thakre's Shiv Sena having performed better than the breakaway factions that joined hands with the BJP. Out of the 21 seats it contested, Sena UBT comfortably led in 11, which is over 50% of the seats, while Ekna Chinde's party won about 5 to 6 of the 14 seats that his party has contested. A united NCP in 2014 won 4 seats. Sharad Pawar's NCP has not only bagged three of those four seats this time, but also one more while comfortably leading in about six to seven seats. Ajit Pawar's NCP, meanwhile, retained only the Raigad seat with his party that a united NCP won last time. Congress is the biggest winner. Maharashtra is one of the states where the Congress has resurrected itself. After winning two seats in 2014 and just one seat in 2019, it has managed to gain at least 10 more seats this time. Many of these seats which the NDA backed from the Congress in 2014 like Gadchiroli, Chimur, Latur, Nanded and Nandurbar are now back with the Congress leading in them. Nanded was in fact Ashok Chavan's bastion who moved to the BJP just a few months ago. NDA tally in Mumbai. The NDA had won all six seats in Mumbai in 2019. Three by the BJP and three by the United Shiv Sena. But the BJP has comfortably led only in two seats this time, Mumbai North and Mumbai North Central. This time, three seats, Mumbai South, Mumbai South Central and Mumbai North East have had a comfortable lead of Uddhav Thakre Shiv Sena, while Mumbai North Central was a tight race between the Congress and the BJP. The only seat the BJP comfortably won in Mumbai was Piyush Goel's Mumbai North constituency. Heavy losses in Marathwada. The ire of Marathas around the reservation issue has clearly caused the BJP in Marathwada. Out of the eight seats, Nanded, Bid, Jalna, Latur, Aurangabad, Hingoli, Osmanabad and Parbhani. The BJP won four seats in 2019 while the United Shiv Sena won three. This time, however, Uddhav's Shiv Sena and Congress took a comfortable lead in at least five of the seats. India Alliance's gains in Vidarbha. The BJP Shiv Sena combined in 2019 had won eight of the ten seats in this region with the BJP having five of them. The India Alliance this time comfortably led seven of the ten seats. Like Marathwada, the Maratha reservation factor and the sentiment that the BJP and NDA are anti-Maratha has clearly played out in both Marathwada and Vidarbha regions which are dominated by the Marathas. But what's certain is that the India alliance has clearly dented the NDA in Maharashtra. Ekna Chinde's Shiv Sena and Ajit Pawar's NCP clearly failed to charm the voters as the BJP had expected and the Mahavikas Aghadi is something which the BJP will obviously have to watch out for in the upcoming assembly elections in the state. Follow the Quint for live coverage of the Lok Sabha election results.